as you can see, I have an end. We went to a great deal of trouble. One fish, two fish, dead fish. Yeah. Grim. Yeah, there's some really sad ones in here. And after you, after you read them all, just make sure to recycle. We, we, we do ask that you recycle after you read them all. <laughs> so we have a couple of messages today. Okay. And obviously the first one is believe the science of climate change. Because we all believe it. And we would like our representative, if, even if he doesn't believe it himself, to represent our beliefs. So that's one. Number two is that once again, we would like to see. We would like to see him. And we've been asking for that for weeks, so do you have any answer for us this week? I don't have anything that's different from prior visits. No, I don't. Okay. Not even a message from him? No, I don't. Um, I'd give it to you if I had one. He was in Austin last week, this last weekend. That's the Boy Scouts. Yeah. But he didn't announce it until he was here, so we could talk to him and make sure that we could be heard while he was in town. I have known the cycle of being on a drug and then not being on a drug, and it is, it is terrifying. It, you know, the way that the country was run before Obamacare, before the Affordable, affordable Air uh, Care, mm -hmm. it, was, it was terrifying for people. People did not want to say to their insurance companies what they thought they might have, because if they didn't have it in the future, then they would be denied. So they, they were afraid to even speak up. And so I didn't even consider going to the doctor or speak anything about things that I was experiencing for decades in which I could have received care for that if I had not been so afraid of, of those pre-existing conditions being an automatic disqualifier for things that I really sincerely wanted. And I had met people that have died of hepatitis C because they can't afford the drugs. So I think it's something that all of us need to be cognizant of. You know, people are dying because they don't have access to these high-priced drugs. And mine is Zepatirin. Mm -hmm. And there's Averoni, I think, is like $80,000 for an eight-week treatment. So it's, uh, these are expensive drugs. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea of high-risk pools. Yeah. And the Not absurd good. amount of money that Paul Ryan has proposed for those high-risk pools, mm -hmm. the amount that he's proposed wouldn't cover just the state of Texas. When one person's care can cost $56,000 a month, it's certainly not going to cover the entire country. So that everything that we've heard so far is terrifying. And I just want to be listened to because you know, at some point we do have to be listened to so we can move on with our lives and, yes. and actually not and worry about it. <laughs> and while Marshmith has kind of a history of, of hiding out, even there's several news articles that I've been looking at on <coughs> Google that it, this has even happened as early as when he was running for office, that he was ignoring his constituents.